the last thing that I'm going to talk about that I feel has a very negative impact at times on uh, the way that a stage plays is the absolute size of it. Once again, Mahi Mahi is going to be one of our examples. And one of the reasons that Mahi Mahi has all of the problems that it has is that it's just too small. This is not a map that is well designed for a 4v4 player game. This would be better for maybe like two or three players, but at this size, there's just not enough places to stand. You put one person behind this cover, and now that cover is used up, and there's no place else for anybody else to stand. Maybe they stand like one here and one here, and that, where does the last person go? They're going to be in a redundant position a lot of the time. Um, so... This was a stage that was just too small and doesn't have enough options, so you can just always see everything with something like an E-leader. Um, there's sort of a similar problem, although it's more of a choke point issue with Eel Tail Alley, where the map is too narrow, but also too long. Um, so it takes really long to traverse into mid, which is the problem of if a map is too big, but the map is too narrow, so the whole thing can get locked down by a single crab tank, which happens to be a problem on a lot of the maps that are too small or too full of choke points. Now, the opposite of this problem, which I'm glad we don't really have in this game, is Moray Towers. Moray Towers has just so much more map than anyone needs or even ever uses outside of Turf War. Um, this entire series of two bridges right here is basically pointless. Um, because any objective mode goal is not going to be anywhere near these two positions. Um, I, the closest that you're going to get to this is the Rainmaker goal here, so I guess maybe some E-leaders would use bats when they needed to contest this area, but overall, these areas were completely redundant. You could have chopped these whole bridges off the map, and it would have been a significantly better map. Um... One of the things that really made this map better in Clam Blitz was that the baskets were just down here in what's marked as Old Zone. Um, and that made the map significantly smaller for the most part, which made it a lot more fun to play. It still had some problems, though, because one of the biggest issues with a map that gets too big is that it takes too long to traverse. And one of the beautiful things about Splatoon is that when you get splatted, you're back into play very quickly. They even gave you this sort of semi-teleport where you get to jump to your teammates. And as long as they're in a safe position, then you're able to get back in. But as soon as your team gets wiped, everybody has to swim all the way back in. And on a map that takes this long to traverse, it could take like 10 seconds just to get from your spawn all the way down to snipe. All the way down to where you can shoot at someone again. And all of that time means, first of all, that it's very snowball-y, because as soon as a, play, a team gets one wipe, they get to push the objective for a very long time before they're going to see anybody who's able to contest them again. But secondly, it just makes it frustrating, because as soon as you get removed from play, you've got to wait a really long time before you get to play the game again. And I think that's really worse in the grand scheme of things than a map being snowball-y, is a map being frustrating. Um, that's not what this game is designed for. This game is designed to keep you in the game for as much as possible. And it's not just in the game design of the map layouts or of how respawning works. It's also in the design of the lobby system, of trying to get you into a game as quickly as possible. In League of Legends, you can spend 15 minutes just lobbying up for a game and going through champion selection and everything. And it can be really frustrating if the game ends up not going well, or someone disconnects, or, or rage quits or something, and you've now wasted this much of your time. In Splatoon, yeah, there's a lot of internet problems, but at least you're out of that game in five minutes maximum, and you're going to be able to get into another one. Well, this is, I think, the problem that Splatoon is trying to avoid in all of that design. It wants to make you feel like you always have agency, like you're always going to have another chance, and a big map like this size isn't going to give you that.